South Korean Unification Minister's announcement that there is reason to believe that 70% of the U.S. dollars paid as wages and fees for the suspended Kaesong Industrial Project, run jointly with North Korea, of course, had been diverted for Pyongyang's weapons program and luxury goods for its leader, Kim Jong un. Has a reignited scrutiny over the North's state of affairs in terms of cash flow and into Kim's pocket. Our political correspondent Chi Myung Gil is live in the studio with me. Myung Gil, so um, cash paid in U.S. dollars for North Korean workers. Now uh, there there are believed to have been sent to North Korea's Workers Party Office 39. So uh, explain to us how this entire process works. Uh, what is Office 39? Well, Kanyang, you're right. It's believed that some 70% of the money that flows into the Kaesong Industrial Complex uh, has been funneled to support the ruling Workers' Party of Korea. The, there are two main organizations that handle this. If we take a look, one is Room 39, which is the code name for a highly secretive bureau. That manages leader Kim Jong Un's personal coffers and slush funds. It's estimated to bring in anywhere between 500 million to 1 billion dollars annually, and is linked to illegal activities like the production of counterfeit bills, international insurance fraud, and drugs. The other organization is the ruling Workers' Party Secretariat, headed by Kim Jong Un's younger sister, Kim Yo Jong. She practically runs both Room 39 and the Top Secretariat, and is likely the only person trusted to do so.